No, 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 you are not in a state of psychosis right now and having a nightmare. This is really happening. I am really making this video right now. So yeah, basically there has been a lot of conversations going around about this NBA player as Kai, known as Kai Jones. I'm stumbling across my fucking words because it's been so long since I've even made a video at all or any intro like this. But you may be wondering why people are talking about Kai Jones, especially when the guy doesn't even like have a significant role on his team. He's just a young guy with a pretty good skill set in all in all consideration with his, um, you know, him being a vertical threat, especially. Uh, but the it's we're not, even, we're not even gonna talk about him because of his basketball skills. We're just gonna talk about him because of the insane amount of stuff that he's been like saying and saying that he is. Uh, one of them being that he says that he is God. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that came from, but this is like one of the first moments that I saw. I know he was doing this way before I even saw it, but him saying that he is God is just outlandish. And his, antic, his antics have gotten so bad that the Charlotte Hornets have just simply waved him after he publicly asked for a trade on Twitter. Yes, I'm going to yes, I'm going to call it Twitter. It's not X. It's, it's just Twitter. Okay? If you call it X, you're, you're a weirdo. It is just insane to me how this guy, I think if anyone has psychosis, like I mentioned in the intro, I think it's him. I think he's got psychosis. The delusion inside of this man's mind is is insane. He's saying that he's better than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who is a top 5 player of all time in my opinion. Six-time MVP, which is the most ever uh, at least I think it is. I think, no, I think it is most ever. But anyway, regardless. Oh shit, I just had a fucking heart attack in my throat. This man just dunked on Victor Wambanyama and then immediately thought that he was something greater than, like, the earth can even handle. He was, he is a, he is but a figment of our, of our reality. He exists in a completely different time zone. A completely different multiverse. Because this man... He's something special. As he said, he's God. He he made us. And we are only made in his image. He said, I am lacking 1000% of the melanin that is in his skin. I want to also show how he's even like going into making music and thinking that he's just going to have a second career like Antonio Brown. Like this person even says it. But like, just listen to this and tell me how much of a talent this is compared to what's left in the, in the industry. So, yeah, that's what we're dealing with here whenever we're talking about the subject of Kai Jones. At first, you may be wondering, like, hey, that's not that bad. Surely this this is this is nothing. Fine. RKO. DJ Cosmic Cup. Yo, listen. It's just me and my vibe and me riding to eternity. Niggas really mad cause I'm shifting up the energy. I don't got no enemies, niggas want a friend of me. No, I'm not no friend of Lee Ken, I'ma killing them. Every time I'm the vine with the knife. Niggas wanna try me, but I'm coming too precise. Baddie said she love me and she wanna be my wife. I told her baby, slow it down, take it one day at a time, cause I can't I cannot hear that any further. For the people who don't know about what I'm talking about whenever he said he publicly requested a trade just take a look at this this is like and, and also the charlotte hornets waves him like the day after he publicly announced this for those who aren't like in tune with the uh nba sphere of the world usually whenever a player wants to get traded from an nba team they usually go straight to the front office and the gm of the team and the owner and they say hey i want to trade i don't want to be here anymore and then, you know, a whole bunch of time passes, maybe, and they eventually get moved on. Usually, it's not publicly let known firsthand that they want to get traded. So, this is pretty much just saying a huge fuck you to the Charlotte Hornets. 
because he really doesn't want to be there. And Charlotte happily obliged. They they waved him like immediately. Yeah, as of recently, the only things that he's been posting really is just retweeting uh, quotes and whatnot. The last thing he actually said was this video. So yeah, he's just gonna be running around doing TikTok dances until either eventually another team gives him a chance or maybe a fucking record label gives him a chance. I don't know. I think if you're gonna give a chance to this guy, you should really be careful because he may request a trade from your fucking record label for all we know. And publicly, he might he might publicly bash yourself. The Charlotte Hornets really can't even catch a break because they've had to deal with Kai Jones uh and if you don't remember last year or was a year last year or two years ago one they had to deal with miles bridges and his domestic assault case and how he had to handle that they i think they waived him for a did they wave him for a bit or he was like supposed to stay away from the team and now that he's out of that case i think i think he's out of it but he might be back but uh, he's back on the team i think on a minimum deal I think I can't remember exactly so don't quote me on that the point is the Hornets cannot catch a break they've been having to deal with many things Montrez Harrell also whenever he was on the Hornets he got pulled over in Louisville Kentucky and was arrested for a drug paraphernalia so they've been having to deal with a lot of their players doing illegal shit or humiliating themselves as we see here hell this could be a fucking Illuminati uh, ritual for all we know it could be he could be part of the, the triangle and all-seeing eye. But anyway, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's just see where this crazy roller coaster goes in the future. Uh, I think that he's a good player. I'm not, I'm not going to say he's bad. I think he is good. But I think he's just... Something has gone wrong in that brain of his. Uh, anyway... I love you guys. Uh, hopefully this is the first of many more videos to come because I really do want to make more content, especially sums like this. Let me know if you like commentary content like this because this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I've been watching other people do for a long time. So this kind of, it's kind of inspired me to do it myself. But again, I love you guys. Peace out.